Watch KSTV weeknights at 7.30 and 11 Eastern and anytime with Inside On Demand on Channel 103. And we are now happy to be joined on the phone by former first team All-American Kentucky wideout Derek Abney. Derek, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's my pleasure. Now, you recently uh, found out you're going to be inducted into the UK Hall of Fame. Can you take us through that, finding out you're going to be a Hall of Famer? Yeah, um, I got a call from Mitch Barnhart, and I have never spoken on the phone with Mitch, so it's a little surprising. <laughs> We're getting close to... About a decade out of uh, my uh, UK career, so it was a it was a pleasant surprise uh, when he told me not only that I'd be inducted, but who I'd be with, and and the a uh, uh, ceremony that would be the day before the Western Kentucky game. Um, so I was very excited um, and very honored and humbled to be a part of that. Now your career, remember some of your biggest plays you made in, in some of the biggest games. I remember down in Gainesville against Florida, uh, you had a huge game. Uh, what's it like for a player at Kentucky, which isn't a traditional football power? Uh, how do you go into these types of games and find yourself making these big plays? Well, I, you know, I think the biggest part of it was everyone believed we could score at any time on special teams. So um, it really didn't matter who we were playing or where we were playing. We just wanted an opportunity to uh, – what I always like to say, to be one of three phases and not the third phase of, of football, you know, offense, defense, and special teams. We, we really hung our hat on that, and uh, we, we got some results from that. Now, of course, coming up, UK and U of L are going to play each other in the Governor's Cup game. As a player, the preparation for that game, I know coaches always say it's just another game, it's nothing special. But as a player, what type, how does the preparation differ for those games? Well, it's it's emotional. You pack in a lot of things with it being uh, the first game of the season, an in-state rivalry. Um, you had all all summer to you know jaw back and forth, uh, either internally or you know externally. I guess Twitter is there now, but uh, it it is a little bit of a different game. Um, you, you also get your first chance to see where you're at, not only individually as a team, but as a team. And so there's just a lot of unknowns and a lot of exciting times um, in being this first game against Louisville. Now you play, you kind of bridge, you know, connect all the all the the eras here for Kentucky, going back to uh, how Mummy Guy Morris, and then your last season, I believe Joker Phillips was your position coach at UK. That's correct, right? Yeah, I had uh, three head coaches and four position coaches. Then the last one was uh, uh, Coach Brooks, and then Coach Phillips was my receiver coach. That's right. What, what, what was Joker like? We see him now as a head coach. I know he's probably developed and changed a lot over the years. But what do you remember about Coach Phillips and maybe some of his, his uh, strengths as a coach? Um, you know, he had a sort of a calm passion, I guess you could say. Uh, he didn't get excited too much, uh, except I know he really – one of his favorite plays, even as a receiver, um, was if uh, you uh, – taking out someone when you're blocking. Uh, he loved that. I mean, if you could, if you could pancake somebody, he was – that was hit one of his biggest things, even for us receivers. So, But overall, he was a pretty um, – a calm passion that Coach Phillips had. Um, bled blue, obviously, throughout. Uh, but the – so I'd say his strength was just kind of a, a steady, uh, positive influence uh, athletically and, and uh, you know, personally. He's now tasked with making Kentucky competitive in the SEC, which is as good as it has ever been in terms of football. When you look at UK as a program, that isn't that scary? Yeah, I know. It keeps getting better and better every single season. And, and you could say that, that under Joker, the other recruiting's gotten better and some things have improved, but still an uphill battle. When you look at the program, where are the areas where you, where you think Kentucky can really be competitive, and can they ever be one of those elite schools, you think? Well, I, I think that we always will have an opportunity. I think with Coach Phillips, it's, it's the best one, too. I mean, like I said, uh, bleeding blue and coming from a Kentucky background, um, if he's successful, there's, uh, this is his job. This is the job he wants to be at. I mean, I was a prime example of Coach Morris being successful and then moving on. So um, in, in that case, I think this is a, a, a really an advantage to have Joker Phillips in, in that capacity. Um, and also, you know, we, uh, to, to do well, we really need to keep those in-state recruits. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the elite Georgia recruits and others, um, you know, they're always going to be looking into in-state schools. But if we can really 
uh, access and, and keep those elite in-state athletes. That's really that's really the way to to move up in the SEC and the SEC overall. Now, part of the struggles on the offense the last several years has been the, the development of the wide receivers, uh, the ability to catch the ball, run the proper routes. What's the most important part? We heard LaRod King talk about these guys have talent, but they're just not putting it together. As a wide receiver, besides catching the ball, what, what are the most important parts of that development? Uh, I, you know, it's, it's a difficult thing. I think a lot of it is believing in yourself. And uh, knowing that uh, if there is a problem, um, you drop a ball, you just have to move forward and, and be done with it. Um, I, you know, I think they've got a couple younger kids that are doing really well. I'm going to be interested to see um, DeMarco and how he does, not only as a receiver, but as a returner. I, I've heard some really good things. Uh, so it's really, I, I think a big part of it is having a confidence in yourself and not saying that others haven't, but it, it can be difficult um, to, to do that when, when things aren't going well. And it's just, that, that's more uh, part of a game than folks would realize, I think. All right, Derek Abney, thank you very much. Real quick before we let you go, what was your 40 time? The best I ever ran was a 4-3-4. 4-3-4, impressive. All right, Derek, thank you very much. Congratulations again, and hopefully we'll talk to you again throughout the football season. All right, TJ, anytime. Thank you.